Valtteri Bottas working with Lewis Hamilton insider and bid to topple Mercedes teammate Muscany was the performance engineer for Hamilton last year where he helped the Brit win his fifth world title. But he has now been promoted to race engineer with Bottas following Tony Ross move to Formula E. My preparation has not really changed, Bottas told Build newspaper ahead of the new season. What is new is that I have a new race engineer. Tony Ross has gone to Mercedes Formula E project and now I have Ricardo Muscany, who was a performance engineer on Lewis Hamilton's car. Bottas was an excellent team made to Hamilton in 2018 as the pair secured the championship double from Mercedes. However, the Finn finished fifth in the standings so he knows the pressure is on to perform this campaign. I want to be world champion and I am ready to do anything for that, he added. Lewis is just a human being at the end of the day, even if he is extremely talented. But there were race weekends where I have been faster than him. Esteban Ocon is waiting in the wings as Mercedes third driver after failing to land a seat with another F1 team. And that will add extra pressure on Bottas if he wants to extend his contract beyond 2019. I do not put any more pressure on myself than in previous years, Bottas said. It remains true that if I deliver, the team will be satisfied. If not, I do not deserve this place at Mercedes. I will give everything and see where I am. The F1 season gets underway in Australia next weekend and Bottas knows the importance of getting off to a good start. Very important, said the 29-year-old. The first half of the season until the summer break is the key to a good year. We saw it in 2018. When I was so far behind Lewis in the points, the team focused on him to get the driver's championship. So I have to score right from the start this year. Next news Marco warns Gasly after two testing crashes. Dr. Helmut Marco has warned Pierre Gasly to drive more cautiously. Marco is the top Red Bull official under team owner Dietrich Maitschitz, and he is targeting a minimum of five wins in the first Honda powered year. I believe we also have a certain chance of the world championship, he told Opa News Agency. Marco says dropping Renault and switching to works Honda Power was the best decision Red Bull could have made. Another decision was to replace the Renault-bound Daniel Ricciardo with Toro Rosso driver Pierre Gasly for 2019. However, the Frenchman's inexperience showed in Barcelona testing, with two crashes. In the second crash we ran out of spares. So Max Verstappen could hardly drive on the last day, said Marco. Nonetheless, he says Red Bull will treat Gasly and Verstappen fairly in 2019. Nothing will change in that way, but what we've seen in the tests is that Gasly is not yet on Verstappen's level. But we didn't expect that either, said Marco. When asked about Gasly's testing form, Marco added, apart from the two crashes it was perfect. Especially the second crash hurt us. He should not allow himself to do that anymore, the Austrian added. Finally, Marco was asked about the Brexit story, and particularly Toto Wolff's claim that it could be a major issue for the UK-based teams this year. Nothing is eaten as hot as it is cooked. Marco said. The country has to keep going. There may be one or two inconveniences, or something will be delayed, but that's not so important. Next news Weber says two drivers best in 2019. Mark Weber has named two drivers as the best on the current F1 grid. The former F1 driver says he has been following Barcelona testing and reading the news ahead of the 2019 season opener in Australia next week. There's a lot of shadow boxing going on, he told the Australian Financial Review.
the Australian agrees with the common paddock perception that Ferrari is leading Mercedes heading into Melbourne. Mercedes might be slightly on the back foot, though from an incredibly high benchmark, said the former Red Bull driver. And he thinks his old team will also be competitive at Albert Park, particularly if there is a spot of rain on the greasy street circuit. There's the Max Verstappen factor too, said Weber, 42. In those conditions Max and Lewis Hamilton are the best in the world. Max is going to take a lot of risks, put his nose in everywhere. As for his countryman Daniel Ricciardo, Weber thinks his fellow Australian will struggle to be competitive initially at Renault. It's going to be a long campaign to get them competitive but he'll lift that team, there's no doubt about it, he said. Could Ricciardo even win a race? He'd need some stars lining up, but it can happen. He's not ballistically quick over one lap but when it comes to racing if anyone can pull something out of that Renault on Sunday it's him, said Weber. Next news Rakanen hoping for Lotus-like season in 2019. Kimi Rakanen is quietly hoping for a race win in 2019. The Finn has left Ferrari after a long career with the Marinello Mark, and now drives for the Ferrari-linked Sauber team now known as Alfa Romeo. In 2012, the now 39-year-old Rakanen returned to F1 following a rallying in NASCAR sabbatical and won two races in two seasons with the Lotus team. Asked if he can repeat that now, he told Italy's Automoto, I hope so. But I don't know what our competitiveness is. The order in the middle is very close. It will also depend on who will make their car faster during the year. We will try to do a good job from the beginning and then go from there, Rakanen added. Rakanen's teammate. Italian Antonio Giovinazzi, is also hoping for a fast Alfa Romeo. Last year they had a fantastic season, he said. They started at the back but by the end of the year were always in the top 10. We just have to start as they finished and then improve ourselves during the season, bringing home as many points as possible. Next news boss not surprised by Leclerc's pace. Mascia Binotto says Ferrari is not surprised about the testing performance of team newcomer Charles Leclerc. In winter testing, most agreed that 21-year-old Leclerc, who replaces Kimi Raikkonen, looked a match for Sebastian Vettel. We are not surprised with what we saw from him, new team boss Binotto said. However. He has said that Vettel will have priority over four-time world champion Vettel in 2019. Charles is certainly very fast, said Bonato. But Barcelona was all about getting to know the new car, and about the close contact between the drivers and engineers. A real comparison with Sebastian was not possible and not the goal. But they drove lap times at high level which underscores Charles' speed, he added. Bonato, however, reiterated that Ferrari always expected Leclerc to be quick. We must not forget that he has been part of the Ferrari family for several of years, and last year we were able to look in peace at how he was doing at Sauber. So his performance in Barcelona was not out of the blue. On the other hand, the tests were not to confirm our choice. How the season goes for him is what matters, he said. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to share and subscribe to your channel to get the latest sports news around the world. Wished health and success. Goodbye.